Hello, uh, my name is Sajal Ahmed Mehman and uh, right now uh, I'm offering the Heat Exchanger CFD course using ANSYS Fluent. Uh, in this course, we will go through first the basics of the uh, heat exchangers and then designing of the shell and tube exchanger and uh, in, a, in a parametric way or in a modular way. So first we will cover the theory like here. And then this is a very basic sketch about the uh, the things we want to model in a heat exchanger. Right now it's a it's a double type of the double pipe type of the heat exchanger, but but step by step we will convert this uh, into the shell and tube heat exchanger. So and this is also is a counter flow heat exchanger. The shell fluid is coming from this side and going on this side, and the tube fluid is coming from the right side and it's going on the left side. And there are some theory and the formulas, and they will be helpful to you uh, to calculate the uh, our important parameters, especially because we already defined the temperatures. So now we need to find out the uh, flow rates. So we found the flow rates from these equations, and then from flow rates uh, we can find out the velocities uh, on the hot side, shell side, and the cold fluid side, that is the tube side, and that will be used for the boundary conditions for CFD analysis. And here is the geometry uh, generation process. Uh, here I have given uh, the, the dimensions for, uh, so this is a modular design. So we start with the design number one, which is the most simplest one. And then you proceed to second design, third design with the baffles, the fourth design that is uh, containing the uh, multiple tubes instead of single tube. And then the last design that contains everything that is including five tubes and eight baffles and uh, two plates for holding the our uh, heat exchanger then the, there are two headers uh, for collecting and exiting the tube fluid and finally we have the meshing and the results now for this the geometry was made in the uh, space claim everything is done in the space claim including all these parts then we define the name selections all these boundary conditions including the interfaces and also we have made the mesh in the answers in the fluid meshing so i can show you the meshing right now here and from here we can read the mesh file so i i saw the two designs design number one which is uh, basic design and design number five which is uh, uh, design containing every uh, details about the shell and tube exchanger with the five tubes and eight baffles and also you can go through this book and you have the like many design parameters that are based on the uh, empirical formulas. You can find out the many formulas for finding out heat transfer uh, and also formulas for uh, finding out the uh, friction losses in the, especially on the shell side, which is complicated to calculate, but there are the many correlations that, you, that can help you to calculate uh, those parameters. And then those parameters you can directly compare with the your CFD. So right now I have included the heat transfer, uh, transfer heat transfer rates. I have included the temperature uh, on the both sides. I also included the uh, flow rates. But uh, at the moment in this course, uh, we didn't calculate the friction losses or the Nusselt number. But that can be calculated very easily and compared with the correlations. So here you can see this is the mesh we have, and this is uh, like. Uh, uh, polyhedra, hex core, and uh, inflation layers to capture the uh, boundary flow. So you can see here, this is uh, like uh, this one. So if I limit them in the y-axis, this will be like this. In the z-axis. So this is the mesh from inside. And uh, also, if you want to see the few uh, tubes here, you can see them also in this way. And then finally, problem setup in uh, fluent and solution right now. And if you want to see some results, so let's draw a mesh first. And the three tubes I'm displaying here, and there are two players displayed. 
and i'm going to hide the uh, this uh, wall number 1 for the tube this is i think wall number 1 yes okay now let's display the uh, path lines so i will be skipping like a 10 path lines make the step size is equal to 1000 uh, make the line and arrows width is equal to 2 spacing factor is equal to 10 scale is equal to 0.2 let's make it uh, 7 and click on save display and also you you should include the mesh otherwise the mesh will be replaced by the only path line so in second step I will be doing that thing so draw mesh first and again say, uh, click on save display You can see that the fluid that is going from the shell inlet and it is exiting over here we have the like two tubes are also on here and also we can see the fluid that is going through the uh, tube here we have the baffle so baffle will be putting the uh, surface here so don't worry about the there is no surface no there is surface but it's only not displayed here so if I show all the baffles like including baffle number eight this will look like in this way. So like this. So we can see that baffles are basically uh, making the flow also uh, in the cross and it takes uh, more time to move through it but definitely uh, this will increase the pressure losses but at the same time it will increase the heat transfer rates uh, from hot fluid to cold fluid and this is the fluid that is coming out from the tube so you can see that we have a lot of losses maybe here and here the fluid is going inside the tube so you can also make it uh, transparent if you go to views and compose and uh, wall one of the wall one or wall two of the uh, tube so you can make it uh, transparent so wall of the tube this one okay display and uh, make it transparent like this 80 percent or 70 percent or 60 percent so you can see now from here as well Okay, looks like that this is the like uh, this configuration, this one. Okay, this is the configuration. And from on this side, the fluid is going into the tube. This is the inlet of the tube. And from this side, the fluid is coming out from the tube. Uh, now, next thing is that you can make the one plane. So, create a plane isosurface and that will be the constant uh, z location so uh, mesh and the z coordinate and click on create so just check where this has been created this is the middle plane so let's display so don't display the uh, geometry of uh, this uh, z coordinate but uh, rather we are going to display the uh, temperature and the velocities here so keep on displaying the mesh display pressure here and uh, velocity and temperature 
you can see that we have the transfer between the uh, the shell which is hard fluid and we have the uh, heat transfer is going to the cold fluid which is carried by the tubes so you can see the temperature increase in the tube side and temperature decrease on the shell side as the flow goes along the outlet of the shell you can see reduced temperatures and initially the tube has a low temperatures now when it is exiting there it has a high temperatures And if you want to display in a more proper way, maybe you can play with the lightings, like here. So let's make it flat, apply, like this. So uh, for learning this all things uh, in a single course, and that will not take your uh, more than eight hours. So within eight hours, like one day, if you want to learn this course, uh, you can contact me on the given WhatsApp number in description of this YouTube video. Please contact me and have the learning on your own.